to Bon Appetit with Nazina. Today we're making sweet couscous. This couscous is with the fruit salad. Let's see the recipe. Okay, here our recipe. We got castor sugar, we got vanilla extract, we got raisins, we got black and white grapes, we got papaya, we got mango dice, the, the mango is dice and, and the papaya as well. We got here about 50 grams of um, pistachio roasted and as well a uh, slice of almond as well, the same way it's roasted. We got here butter ghee, which is we use it all the time in the couscous. This is give a very nice taste actually. It's all, I mean, in everywhere on the supermarkets. This is our couscous as well. Found it in Arabic shops. We got here boiling water and I got here my couscous. I got two actually cups of couscous and I got a little bit of oil, which is this one is gonna go there. Uh, then, okay, now let's go ahead and start with the couscous. So now I'm mixing my couscous with the oil. same way of my other video of the couscous. Now I'm adding my boiling hot water. As you see it's one liter. It doesn't matter how much but it must be a lot of water. It must cover the couscous. Then now, a minute, I'm gonna take off all this water and leave the, the couscous aside actually to absorb the water and um, to be, like, I mean, not a double, it doesn't rise actually, but it will be a little bit, you know, double in a size, and then I will steam it. It's very easy and uh, step by step wouldn't happen any problem. There. So. See, it's even still some water there, not a problem, don't worry, leave it like that, for maybe, it's the, the more you leave it, it the more, it, the best result, leave it for half an hour, you can, I mean, uh, leave it for, the half, for half an hour, for 40 minutes, for one hour, for 20 minutes, it just will give you, I mean, will cook easier when you put it on the top of the steamer, so on the, on the, it will cook so quickly, so that's only the reason, that's all, so, see you there. Okay, my couscous now, it's uh, been rested for more than 20 minutes. So I'm going to flop it with the fork and with my hand as well if I need it to. And uh, put it on my, actually, the steamer. Put it on the, on the stove until it's um, actually cooked take long time actually under water just I'll show you in a minute anyway so let me fluff the couscous to the end so there my couscous ready ready to go to the stove you can do some holes with a wooden spoon like this to get the steam up and that's it now take it to my on the stove. So there my couscous on the hob. I'm gonna cover it and leave it for about 15 minutes, maybe less. Uh, and actually my, uh, uh, the, the couscous, there is a water actually on the pan. It's only water for the steam. And there the couscous and uh, that's it. So we're gonna leave it to cook for 15-10 minutes. We will see actually how long it will take. We are checking our couscous. I believe it's finished. It's been only actually uh, 9 or 8 minutes. 
but because there is, no, is not much of couscous as well, it's only two cups, so they're ready. Now we're going to make them ready with the, the gar to garnish them and mix them with the fruit and sugar and everything. Okay, let's go. Couscous is, re is ready, so now we're fluffing the couscous. We're gonna fluff it till it's till the grain it's separated and it is actually but because it's still hot I need maybe to take some butter ghee here now this is the butter ghee it's really give it nice flavor and uh, as well fluff it more and while the couscous is hot actually I'm going to add my raisins I don't want to use my hands because it's too hot. But I um, mean, if it's a little bit cold, then you can use your hand. Some people if you do even it's hot. They they don't have a sensitive hand, so <laughs> I do. So there. Also the sugar as well. I'm gonna add my custard sugar while it's hot as well. It's good when it's hot. Okay, so we added raisins, sugar and my vanilla extract. Mmm, the smell is fantastic. I need to test the sugar. Mm, amazing. Amazing, really. Very nice. This test is perfect. Just perfect. The sugar like this is perfect. I, I added only two big spoons, two large spoons. So as for me, for other people, they eat more sugar. Maybe there is people eat less as well sugar. So. Now I'm transferring my, my uh, couscous to the serving plate. Then we're going to decorate it with our fruit. And uh, actually, don't put the fruits with the, uh, with the couscous unless that you're eating it in the, um, in the same time. Because, you know, some people, they look, like it soggy, but I don't like it soggy. If you like soggy stuff and fruity thank you much I mean even make it before the time of eating so let's finish the decoration the garnish and we're gonna garnish it now we might not need to say anything we need to look. Everything is exceptional. The nuts, the fruit, I mean, you can only have it with raisins and sugar if you like. If you like with fruit, if you love the fruit, if you love the actually the nuts, so then you can use everything. So, that's our grapes. Okay, one, four, five, 
ביקורת. mango you're going to have a lot left actually here but it's, it's not going to be left because when you serve it it's going to actually mix all together so then you can actually put on on the top of every bowl if you're using small bowls or anything like that or smaller dishes I mean bowls like this you can use as well so um you can put some on the top of what you have left of fruits. Here it is. That's the final look. That my sweet couscous, couscous with the fruit. Fruit salad, papaya, mango, raisins, uh, grapes, almond, pistachio, vanilla, sugar. And we got as well here the rest of the ingredients, which is that you can put it on the top when you serve it on the plates. And uh, voila, it's really delicious. Just do it is not really hard and um, see you